See you later, fish. <coughs> All right. I really do hate traveling with all this stuff. A plane? Are you excited, yeah, mate? Can we do that? I really want to go. How's it going? Yeah. Jeez, let's see. That's the only real big one I got. Wow. You ready to go, Fox? Yeah. It's all right, guys. You'll be all right, Mum. We'll hold it. I don't care about the paint on Fox's hair. Let's go. There you go, four. Cool. Yep, that's it. One, two, three, four. Thanks. Cheers, thank you. Oh. Yes, please. Oi, oi, oi. Alright. Now, where to? down to Javis Bay we've stopped off at Berry. Uh, the Berry bypass is officially complete so we almost missed it but there's two turn on offs or two turn offs to get into Berry, which is good because it saved us. We're gonna have a hey Dash how you going? Good. Good you enjoying the drive? No. In the uh, van check out like the, the hire car place stuffed up our um, hire car and they didn't have it ready so they said well you can either take this boring Camry or you can take the uh, the van. So I thought, yeah, I love van. So we're living the v sweet life of um, van ownership. Not that we need that much space, but uh, three, seats. three seats. There's more than three. There's like eight. nine, nine, eight. Or nine. eight. <laughs> There's a lot of seats. But um, yeah. Eight so we'll just seats. continue down, hit Jarvis Bay, just a bit of a toilet and a uh, little little break. I'm in the bus stop, so I've got to keep our eye out for buses. But yeah, hopefully we'll get down there and we'll try and maybe go for a drive to Murray's or something, check it out, and get comfortable and we'll organise a trip. But yes, it's good to be down. We are at Huskisson, we made it. We got him, we got him, okay, we got him this time. Look, he's pulling a bit of drag as well. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh. Is that on? It is on. Let's see if we get squirted. Okay, just go easy. Oh, there he goes, his ink, getting his ink out. Oh, he's a nice size, jeez. Yeah, Jesse, Jesse, wait, wait, watch out, he's gonna try and squirt you. <laughs> he will squirt you, mate. Okay. There we go, get it all out, mate. I don't want it. <laughs> That's a good squirt as well, mate. No. I'll pop in the rock wall for now. I don't want him squirt you, though. He's not happy. It's a pretty amazing animal, huh? I know, I feel like, I actually feel bad keeping him now. Okay. Look at him, he's pretty amazing. Let's let him go. Okay. We'll let him go. Yeah. 
All right, let's let this one go. I know this seems crazy. We're letting go birthday squid. But you know what? We're not so prepared. So we'll pack it up. Not a bad effort for a, uh, a jig that I found lying on the uh, beach at um, uh, where we're staying with my parents near Little Bay. Surprised to find like a bunch of floats and a, a jig just sitting there. I brought a couple of jigs but I didn't have any with a bit of weight on it so the Yozuri has come through with the goods. Good morning. Uh, yeah, so we've come down. This is the first proper trip uh, of the uh, Jarvis Bay adventure. We've done a couple of little things. So we've, you know, got a couple of little treks through the bush, and even just gone to some favourite sort of swimming holes down at Murray's and uh, just within the uh, bay. But this is the first uh, day of actually being, a, and it's probably the last day almost as well. I might get one more trip in, but this will be a land-based trip. But yesterday when we went down for the trek, uh, where we ended up was pretty rough and there was just zero chance of fishing on any of the sort of the edges of the beach we were on and I thought there might be but yeah the, the swell swells picked up so I'm not really holding my breath about uh, where I am now because it's not too far from where we were the other day so I'll have to just go down check out if it's safe we'll go and have a quick look hopefully the winds down I can see there's a little bit of wind here uh, looks like it's going to be pretty nice sunrise regardless, so we'll go and check that out. Trek down there, and then if it's safe, we'll have a bit of a fish. If not, maybe we'll try inside and uh, maybe go for some squid. The northerlies really whipped it up, though. The water's gone really dirty. I think I missed the best of the fishing, unfortunately. I should have been fishing hard in the first couple of days we were here because it was southerly. Water was super clear. It was really nice, um, and inside the bay was super nice. Uh, so we'll just go and check it out. Sun's finally starting to come up, giving us a little bit of light. You know what? It might be all right. Like on that side, it looks pretty gnarly, but on this side, it looks like it's not copping it. So there's still maybe a chance for me to get a fish in. And this sunrise is going to be pretty spectacular by the looks of things. Straight through these uh, trees here is amazing. In fact, it's getting lighter as I speak. It should be good. Oy. All right. Well, I've been sort of standing watching for a while. I think uh, if I just go off this ledge here, I'm yet to see a wave come even close to coming up to this little point. Looks like not a bad place to cast off. I'll have to go a little closer. I'll get rigged up. Even if I'm just casting off this high ledge and you know, if, if I get a fish, I'll be able to work it down to this corner here and um, get it sort of swept in on a swell. Obviously, kind of make sure I can get a fish in and release it as well, so, and do it safely. But anywhere past this lower point here is definitely a no-go, because I can imagine if a freak wave comes in, the water will sweep right across and suck everything back <laughs> straight out, so, have to just be aware. It's not that bad all in all, like, but, you know, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But it's still a lot to sort of consider, so yeah, you can't be complacent about it. But we'll get rigged up and we'll have a go. Looks like I got the place all to myself. All right. If I'm really serious about it, I've got a few stick baits and a, and a deep diver, but what if I'm really gonna go for it here? Yeah, I'm not gonna muck around. I've got a lim limited time, so let's put one of the sluggos on straight up and test the waters. If there's something about, they'll usually hit that. And I'm going to go with a double uni just because uh, I'm familiar with it and I'm not in a nice controlled environment where my FG will be uh, decent, I think. It's a bit of a cop out, but need a bit more practice. I haven't done it since New Zealand. <laughs> I have faith in my double uni, that's for sure. So we'll rock that, see where you end up. The only problem is the knot's going to be too big for casting through the guides, so I'll have to have a look at that in a sec. 
and uh, let's just cast this out. Gonna drag, we don't want too much drag at this stage. Get a little head? Yeah. Ah. Is that? Is that you? <laughs> yep. Down at, uh, oh, we're pretty much at Aladala actually. Just enjoying the sunset. We'll come down, meet some friends that live uh, down at Milton. I'm just going to have a little uh, dinner. And then maybe, if we're lucky, we might hit. Uh, and I hope I do do this because it's been a failure of a day fishing wise. Try for squid, failed. What did I try for this morning? Bonito, kingfish, anything. Anything that would take my bait, failed. So tomorrow morning, there might be a chance of some lobster, if not squid, on the break wall. I'm gonna try and get something for this video, damn it. <laughs> if not, it's a family fun holiday. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> so what you do when you so really wanna go for a dive. And you don't have. You don't have a waterproof to Your mate. I don't have my mate, Joey. Joey, Joey's mate. Where are you, Joey? Oh this torch is gonna do the good though. I think it's I think it, I think it's actually almost waterproof. Mm -hmm. I reckon you just rub this all over it right now. That is actually waterproof. Look at that, that's actually oh. doing a good job. Oh yeah, right in there. Oh, <laughs> Quick get that off, get that off the bench. You're not planning on you're not planning on using this torch again though, are you? <laughs> once once the batteries once the batteries run out, I think it's a it's, it's a one shot deal. I have to buy him a new torch. Whose is it? Oh, Arlo's. Arlo's? Can we just... Yeah, I bought it from me. Kept asking me. <laughs> Sorry, Rita, did you just buy it from him today? <laughs> okay, so it says I've got an... It says I've got an hour for... <laughs> That's clever. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know you were doing that. <laughs> yes. It says we've got an hour and uh, 40 minutes record right, time, sweet. so I'll turn it off. So we're doing the dive today. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how we'll do creature wise, but uh, yeah, no, we're using the camera as a timer as well. So um, when we when the camera dies, it means we're meant to be out. Oh, it looks great. Ease in is the uh, key word there. <laughs> it's gonna be cold by Gold Coast standards. You've had time to get used to it, mate. Look at my. Pretty whiz bang operation. Look at this. I got my washing up gloves. <laughs> pretty much a kid's. Uh, <laughs> the torch seems. I think I've got. Oh no, not my gloves. Don't lose the flipper. Look at that. That glue looks like it's worked all right though. <laughs> I reckon that'll stay sealed the whole trip. 
<laughs> Got our waterproof torch. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, <laughs> Rupert actually looks quite prepared, which is good. At least one of us has something. Yeah, I'll get these on. Just wait till this licks away, then I will slink out. Get me wetty warmer all set up. <laughs> I'm ready to rock. Yeah. 